Leslie Chow stole $21 million from me. And then I figure the wolf pack has the best chance of finding him. No! Doug is my insurance. Can you take Stu instead? Mr. Ken Chong, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Thanks I for having me. I am so well. Thank you so much for the film. Saw it last night. You are full front and center and right out there, you know, for the whole thing. And like to think that for the first time over a movie, only, I think it was like, what, seven or eight minutes. Yeah. But now you're, now you are the Hangover Part 3. I mean, for me to have, uh, actually, I was just so happy I had a part in, this, in the third movie because Chow went to prison in the second movie, so didn't know what Chow's fate was. So for them to bring me back in the third movie at this, it, with a role like this, the biggest role I've ever had in my career, so, and then the most iconic role I've ever had in my career, it's just an embarrassment of riches at this point. I'm just so grateful. That's a great phrase, embarrassment yeah. of riches. Yeah, it really is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you were a doctor before all this yeah. happened. Do you I miss your patients a bit? I miss my patients. I, yeah, absolutely. I still keep in contact with some of them. I, I don't really, I don't miss the hours. I, I do like, <laughs> yeah. I do like the movie hours a little bit more. <laughs> your new patients are Bradley <laughs> yeah. and the lads. I'm sure they're bold. They're yeah, probably yeah. saying, oh my God, Ken, give us something. Prescribe us something. <laughs> like like Stewie can do all that in the film, you know, uh, behind the counter stuff. They're so, lucky they know you. <laughs> so funny. No, it really is. It really is surreal that you, like those guys are, there's some of the, what people don't know will realize they're some of the most, most mature, ego free actors I've ever worked with. They're, they're the best. That is so cool to know because, you know, you'd assume being such superstars that, you know, you might go to your head a bit, but no. it doesn't. They're the same guys. And I have to ask you can you do the line, toodaloo for me? Toodaloo! <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that, mother. <laughs> I am um, probably not. I don't want to I don't wanna get in trouble, I guess, <laughs> with. Um, with but, the broadcasting uh, regulations. With the broadcasting regulations, but... I have to ask you, Ken, as well. You're up there with Tom Cruise because I'm seeing the poster <laughs> behind you there. Uh, the stunt you pulled, you are actually afraid of heights, naturally. Yes, yes, yeah. So it was a 30,000 feet? <coughs> it was 30 feet, not 30,000. 30,000. No. Was I wrong? I think they were skydiving here. 30 feet. Right, right. you did this stunt. Well, I, the, the parachute were done by these amazing stuntmen, and, and I can in no way take credit for that, but the... Uh, there is a point in the movie I do a 30 foot free fall drop with water coming down oh my behind God. my back and that was all me. Are you afraid of heights? Yeah, I mean I, I had to work with the stunt coordinator who actually worked with Tom Cruise and he helped desensitize me from you know my, my fear of heights. He really kind of cured me of my fear of heights. Wow. Because it was, he, one week I would be with him and I would be in a harness at 10 feet in the air then next week 15 feet in the air 20 feet. I really worked on making over six weeks kind of doing that stuff particularly so time. good so you've cured a fear you're kind of a doctor, cured a fear yeah a, a global superstar now <laughs> all in a few years it's absolutely brilliant and i suppose you know for you as well getting back in, in with the hangover crew it must have just been like a no-brainer saying no. todd yeah oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna for be todd phillips i mean yeah you know he's my favorite director i've ever worked with he's so fearless with his comedy and, and combine that with like the the greatest cast i've ever worked with it's to me, it's always a no-brainer. And it was your idea to get naked, I believe. You, yeah, you, you put that, movie. you planted that seed in Todd's head, yeah. and then he yeah. ran with it. And he planted that seed, operatic, yeah, <laughs> emphasis on seed. That, <laughs> I um, that I, I definitely, yeah, it, it was something that was, I, I remember pitching that to Todd and said, "Do you mind if I was naked in the movie?" He goes, "You don't have to tell me twice." <laughs> so, so yeah, oh, you're he, so good. He, it was great. Uh, and you got two animations coming up. Yeah, uh, Despicable Me Too and Turbo. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun and it's great to do something for my kids to see and yeah, it'll exactly. Be great. They can't see this one. Like they can't see this one right now. So. No. No, they're five years old and oh. you know it'd be great for them. I, yeah, it'll, it'll be nice. So, do you ever miss being a doctor? No, I mean yeah. I miss my patients, but I'll be honest. I, I even before I became a doctor, I, it was my secret dream to become an actor. So I, I still can't believe I'm living my dream. So I'm really. I'm beyond thrilled and just very grateful. I'm yeah. gonna sound really corny now when I say it, but toodaloo! I love that thing. <laughs> toodaloo! Thank you. Oh, thank you very. That's my favorite. Yes. That's my favorite catchphrase as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for thank chatting you. to us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, fast stop. Quick, give me some sugar. Did he just kiss him? What are you doing here? Same old, same old. Ooh, I got into cockfighting. Oh, cockfighting! That sounds wonderful. Oh, stay still! I'm trying to help. Are you out of your mind? You ready to do this? Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? Oh. Hey, Phil, kick yourself out a little bit. Alan. You get it?